I don't know if it was ever an initial goal. I think my parents um, put me in it because they always saw me dancing around. And originally, I didn't want to dance. I said dancing was only for girls. And um, but eventually, they convinced me. They brought me to a show, and I wanted to start right away. I started with jazz and tap. And then after a couple of years, my teacher said, "If you want to get serious in dancing, you have to take ballet." And then she said, "I could only go to this one ballet school, which was kind of far. It was about an hour and 15 minutes drive." So I, I started with ballet then when I was about 10, and I absolutely hated it. Um, but I kept I kept doing it because it was really important for my technique and the progression of my dancing. So after about three or four years of really, really dry, you know, basic learning, I started to love it a lot more. And then it just kind of became a natural progression and things just happened. And then I joined a ballet company. For well, this is the reason why I joined a ballet company in the first place was because I felt that the commercial industry didn't have a place for Asians. So <clears throat> I, I made a very conscious decision when I was 14 or 15 years old. Uh, I was doing jazz and hip hop and ballet and things like well, not so much hip hop, but I was doing jazz and ba um, tap and all that things. And then I was also progressing equally as much in ballet. And it came to a point where I thought, okay, I have a choice to go the commercial route, do commercials, maybe acting, do music videos and things like that, or I can join a ballet company. And at that point, on TV, I never saw any Asians. I never saw. Asian people dancing in music videos. I never saw Asian people cast in commercials. And it seemed um, more fitting for me to go to a ballet company where it was a little bit uh, more colorblind. I didn't feel that I could be cast in West Side Story as an Asian. I didn't feel like I could be cast in Broadway things when they're not looking for an Asian, you know? It just made it very difficult. So I made the conscious decision to join a ballet company because they're more colorblind. Although they look at your height and they look at all your facility and natural facility and things like that, it doesn't matter so much that you're Asian, you know? And um, so seven years down the road after I had been dancing with the ballet company for, you know, seven, eight years, I did start seeing more of those things. I did start seeing Asians in commercials and things like that. And that's what kind of propelled me to do So You Think You Can Dance is that I did miss those other forms of dancing so much. And so I did the show and it kind of launched me back into the, you know, public media. And it was a very good thing, and it was there, I got a great response. And because the timing is more right now that there um, are Asian faces in the media, it's given me a chance to pursue what I also wanted to pursue when I was younger, when I made that conscious conscious decision to pursue ballet.